All right, so let's have a look at these two water filters. All the um, cap water filters are cut from the same cloth. They might look different because they're different models, but they all do the same thing. That'll become obvious later. So cleaning them at an absolute minimum once a month. Absolute minimum. You want to dismantle them. Of course you want to change the water out a lot more than that. But you want to uh, completely dismantle them at least once a month and give them a good clean. Okay, there's always a lid on them that pops off because the water has to come up and hit something and be sent directionally down. So they come off. They always just pull off. There's always a, uh, a channel that is a pressure fit. Wiggle it off. That sounded awful, but it's not. It comes off like that. And there you have it. Same with this one. There's a channel. Just wiggles off. And there are water filters. While you're holding the water filter, hot water, just rinse it. You want to replace them completely every three months at a minimum. Put them somewhere to dry. Rinse them. They don't need detergent. Hot water, a nice rinse. Leave them somewhere to dry. Okay, now they might look different, these water filters, but they're exactly the same principle. There's always a motor in here with suction feet that, that you pull up, and the cord may or may not come out completely. This one, I could pull it out completely, but it's not worth, worth the hassle. Okay, so let's go right in on this piece. So, there's always a cover that you can get your fingernail under and you pluck it off, yeah? Okay, that's it. Throw it into a little container like that. There's always a flow meter control. This is a flow meter control. Throw it in there. There's always an impeller that's magnetic, so just whack it out like that. See, we've got a big chunk of cat fur coming out with that. Throw it in there. Sometimes there's an optional thing for the feet to come off. With this one, there isn't, so we won't worry about it. Okay, we'll get another little container and do the other one, just so the uh, components don't get all mixed up. And I'm going to show you exactly the same thing. There's a motor in here that's got feet. This one actually pulls completely apart. And just like the last one, you slip your nail in there be a little bit fiddly if you don't have long nails. I don't have long nails at the moment. Slip your nail in there and pluck it off. There we go. Now this one has an optional, has the option to pull the feet off. So I'm going to pull them off here. And again there's a flow meter control, plucks off the impeller that the motor drives, magnetic drive goes in there. Okay. Now you don't want to use detergent on these. You want to use just some simple cleaning vinegar, really cheap, really cheap, at uh, any big store. 50-50 white vinegar and hot water. And we're going to let that soak for about five minutes. I normally leave these soaking while I clean the hardware. I'm not going to show you cleaning the hardware because we all know how to clean stuff in our kitchen. You get in there with detergent, you scrub it around, you rinse it, you let it dry. Okay, when it comes time to the motor, you want to use like a little, a little kind of thing like this. I don't know what they call them. And you get in there and you just scrub around, and you scrub around, and you scrub around, and you get in there and you scrub around, and you scrub around. And then, I'm speeding it up just for the video, not to bore you. Then you're going to rinse it really thoroughly under hot water. You're going to hold it and hold it and back and forth. You want to get every, every last little bit of vinegar off there. And then you let it dry and you put it back in the reverse order. Let's pretend that we've cleaned this one and we're going to put it back. So it just goes back the same way. That magnetic impeller goes into the hole, gets sucked in there. Your flow meter regulator can only go in one way. Of course it doesn't go in like that. Look at the molding, it goes in like that. And just snaps in. And then the cover goes in like that. And you pop it back into your housing. Set it all up nicely. Fresh water, good to go. And that's it. Once a month, minimum, you want to do this. And that's it.